Yo, in this video, I'm going to teach you first of all how to make a leaderboard and then we'll uh, make these stages and checkpoints and your stage will change based on the checkpoint you're on. You'll be responding to each checkpoint and best of all, in this video, I'm teaching you really um, how to make these and the different components, how they work together so that if this system isn't exactly what you're looking for, you'll still be able to modify it and make it really unique and yours. Now, let's actually get started. So we're starting in Roblox Studio by just choosing a one of our games or making a new game. And now in our game, we first want to make the leaderboard that I demoed earlier. And how that works is in a game, we'll have a player in the players, both in the workspace and in the players. But right now we're focusing on the players one. And here in the player, we have a the backpack and some of other basic uh, stuff like controls and um, yeah. But we want here to be a folder and this would be the leaderboard. And then within the leaderboard, we'd also have a, a value and then that would be their stage. So we're going to make this for each player and we're doing that in server script services and we'll just make a basic script. And then we'll do um, players dot player added and connect to a function, a function in which we get the player. So what player added just means is that when a player joins and now uh, when a player joins, so this happens only once essentially when the player joins, uh, we'll make a leader stats for the player, which will be a new instance and it will be a folder just as I demoed a second ago. And then for our leader stats, we'll have a name for it and we can just call it leader stats. And then finally, um, leader stats dot parent will be the player. So now the leader stats will be in the player and not hanging around where, wherever this could be. And then we'll uh, create the integer value. So we'll do a local stage, and we'll call that a. Uh, we'll make a new instance, and it will be an int value, integer value. And then our stage's name. Uh, this can be whatever you want um, to be displayed to the player. So I want it to be a stage or caps, but you can choose something else. And for example, if this were a different system, this could be uh, coins. And then uh, we want the stage value. So we want the players to start at stage zero. So we'll have that. And then uh, the stage's parent will be the leader stats. So now we have a leaderboard essentially. And we can just call our script um, leaderboard, whatever. Now for the players to actually change stages, uh, we'd first of all we would need more um, spawn plates than just this one so how we'll do that is we'll first go to view and we'll make a tag edit or we'll select the tag editor and we'll just make a tag called uh, spawn point and why we're doing this is um, well essentially we could do it without um, a collection service and without the tagging but then if we made a mistake in our code or we'd want to change something, we'd have to change every single. So then we'd have a script um, like this. We'd have a script in every single one of our spawn locations and we'd have multiple of these um, respectively like here. And then if we made a mistake, we'd have to delete all the scripts here and make them again. And we don't want that. so. 
um, that is why we'll be making the tags and now we made a tag and the tag will be in a tag list folder within that um, um, server storage and we can just assign our spawn location to tag by going into tags and then um, spawn points yep and now for our how I'm going to make the spawn point or the stage system is by having the stages called um, a number respectively which stage they are so the first one will be zero the second one will be one two three and so on and so forth and why I think that's a good method to do it is um, because then when we'll be assigning that stage role in the leaderboard over here we can base it based on their spawn points name you'll see later what I mean so we'll just call this one zero we'll go over to data and its name and we'll change that to zero and then um, because it has already the spawn point tag we don't have to do it again so now we can just hit Control and D and then we can move the next one to if you have your obstacles here you'll have it probably at the end so here and then you can just move them wherever your obstacles are and now we'll just change their name so this will be one this will be two this will be three and the last one will be four uh, you can have as many as you like so you're not limited to four you can have uh, way more and now that we have this just to make our workspace a little bit cleaner we can go and insert a new folder we can call this um, stages then we can select all our stages and just drag them into the stages folder and now we have a bit cleaner workspace now when a player walks let me just do a demonstration <laughs> so when a player beats one of the stages and moves on to the next one uh, they'll be touching the stage and based on that knowledge we know that the player is at a new stage and we can change their stage in the leaderboard but we'll be also changing their spawn location to the new stage and how we'll be doing that is we'll go to server script service and we'll create a new uh, script we can call our new script um, stage giver <coughs> but it doesn't matter call it whatever uh, makes sense to you now first of all we want the players to spawn at this stage we don't want a player to spawn over at the end of the obby but rather at the first stage and how we'll do this um, you can have this in a separate script but um, just for simplicity's sake we'll just have it here so we'll just do game dot players so the player service dot player added we'll connect it to a function um, function in which in which we get the player and then we'll do um, player dot player dot respawn location and set that to game dot workspace dot stages folder and then find first child and zero and there now the player will always spawn at um, when they join the game at first they'll always spawn at that um, start of the obby okay now to actually um, have the player stage change when they beat the first um, part of your obby and move on to the next stage we will do um, well we'll first get that collection service which is um, for the tags so we'll do game get service and collection service and then uh, with collection service we can check um, all the parts that have the tag spawn point so we'll be doing uh, local spawns or whatever local spawn points and have them be a collection service get tagged 
so returns an array of objects in the game with a given tag and our tag was spawn point. And now what we essentially have is, a array, is an array where we have um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, <clears throat> etc. So all our parts that have um, the spawn point tag. And now to go through all of them, we'll add a for loop. And in the for loop, we'll have a spawn point. So for spawn points, uh, spawn point in our spawn points array, we'll be doing, um, well, first of all, if the spawn point is touched, we'll connect to a function where we'll get the part that touched it. And then we'll get the parts character. So local character equals part dot parent. I like capitalizing my words, so don't mind me. I'll just have these two capitalized. And then if we have a character, then we can check for a humanoid or actually we can just get a humanoid. <clears throat> so um, humanoid is character find for find first child and humanoid and if we have a humanoid then we can um, get the player and from the player we can get there um, so then we'll have the player in players and then from the players we can get the players leader stats folder and from there we can get the stage and um, that way alter their stage so we'll do local player equals um, the player service and get player from character. And then we'll just get the character that we defined here. And just add game here because we don't have the player service. We could have defined it, but I forgot to do that. So we can just deal without it. And now we can get the um, leader stats again, which will be in the player. And then um, we'll be finding the first child. And now remember what you called your um, folder. If you followed me and called it leader stats, you'll be finding it uh, with the name leader stats and then from your leader stats you can get the stage and now you can get the stage so as Roblox is suggesting uh, from leader stats we'll find the first child which will be stage and it is stage because I named it stage all caps if you named it something else write that right here and now um, Personally, I hate it when obbies do this. So if I'm at stage uh, one here and I move on to stage two and then I come back for a friend or something and go back to stage one, then they'll reset me or remove my rights off stage two and move me to stage one. So I don't want that to happen. So therefore I'll check if the stage dot value is less than the current stage that we're standing on. So to number our current spawn point dot name. And only then will I change the player stage and spawn point. <clears throat> and this is actually where calling our stages just a single number comes in, because now we know which stage we're talking about and which um, number it is. And then we'll do stage dot value equals to number spawn point dot value. So we're just now we're uh, spawn point dot name, sorry. And capitalize your stage. So now we're um, really like <clears throat> certifying the action of changing the player stage. 
And last, we'll change the players. Spawn point, so we'll do player dot respawn location equals spawn point. So the current one that we're working on. And now we should have a nice system. Pause. In short, it didn't work. And that's because leader stats has to be spelled with a lowercase l. Also, value was misspelled earlier, but if you fix these during the video, your stages will work just right. But if not, don't worry. I'm going to show you the fixes now. Oh, so for Roblox to know that um, you really want a leaderboard, um, your leader stats has to be lowercase. So go over to your leaderboard script and lowercase your leader stats' name. And then come over here and you want to look for a lead. And another problem why the stages aren't assigning is I made a typo here. Add a U to your value. And now finally, we have a working stage system. And as you can see now, if we were to go back for our friend, our stage won't change and we can continue on and if we end up dying during our stage we'll respawn over at the stage that we were left at and yep that's it for um, today's video if you have any problems any questions leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to answer um, answer that that's it thanks for watching